What's up guys and girls, Raj here, back with another video. So how do you collect interview questions for your upcoming interview? And once you know the questions, how do you prepare for them? So in this quick video, I'm going to go over some tips and tricks that you can use. And I have personally used these tips and tricks for many of my interviews. So they are battle tested. So all right, let's get started. So once you know the position uh, for the interview, such as a DevOps engineer, solutions architect, network engineer, etc., you go to Glassdoor and then you just search for that position. So let's say in this case, we are looking for DevOps engineer and then select DevOps engineer interviews. Then you will see bunch of sample questions for different companies. Uh, so what I do is uh, I will copy paste all these interview questions, right? So it's a little tedious, uh, but that's the only way to do this. Uh, and then I'll go through these different pages uh, and copy paste all the questions. And in some cases, I will also check the answer. Like in some cases, uh, the person will also give the answer. I'll copy paste those as well. So after you do this, uh, there will be some duplicate questions, like some questions that's appearing, such as what is AWK in Linux, uh, it might come later on the fifth page as well, right? Uh, so I will go through the questions and dedupe them and then prepare the answers uh, for the questions that Glassdoor did not have answers for. And another thing I would do is, um, I would try to think of the follow-up questions. So let's say for this question, uh, what do you know about uh, Jenkins? So you might prepare for Jenkins, uh, what is Jenkins, how does it work, etc. But I would also try to think of some of the other questions that could come up from this, such as uh, what are some of the challenges of using Jenkins? Or uh, have you used any newer DevOps tools such as Azure DevOps or AWS Code Pipeline or maybe GitLab, etc. So that's how I will collect the list of the questions, uh, think about the follow-up questions or the other questions that could come up from them and prepare. So another tool at your disposal is actually LinkedIn interview. So this is a newer feature. Uh, so when I was giving my interview at AWS, this was not there. Uh, so if you go to LinkedIn, let me make it a little bigger and select this uh, jobs icon and see this interview prep on the side. Uh, so this is a new addition. So you click this interview prep and see there are different categories. So uh, these are some of the common questions such as uh, tell me about yourself, what is your greatest strength, etc. Uh, if you click categories, it also has uh, other categories such as software engineer, project manager, etc. So you can select any of the category and then it is also going to show you sample answers from other folks. Uh, so to see the full uh, answers, you need to have LinkedIn Premium. Uh, so generally, uh, LinkedIn Premium uh, gives you one month of free trial. So do this when you are serious. Like don't do this if you just want to know. Uh, but when you are really preparing for interviews and stuff, uh, you unlock the premium for a month and then you can go check uh, the, all the answers for all these questions. So another feature that LinkedIn now has is you can also send your answer to uh, some experts and they will give feedback on it. Uh, so let's say uh, you want to practice the answer about tell me about a time you managed a project. Uh, so you can just click practice and get feedback and you can record a video of your answer of yourself or you can write a response and then you send it to LinkedIn and they will give uh, feedback about that. Uh, by the way, I'm not affiliated with LinkedIn. Okay, LinkedIn didn't give me any money <laughs> to, to, to tell this about, but I'm just saying this is pretty helpful. And some of these answers are pretty good. Uh, I did have premium for a little bit, uh, so I did check after, but this is after I went through all the interviews, already have the job and everything. Uh, so yeah, some of these answers are pretty good. You can see the number of views, like 4,000 views on this, this answer, 5,454 views on this one, 
uh, etc. That's it really. I wanted to make a quick and short video on uh, how to get different interview questions and uh, how do I prepare for those. Uh, hopefully this was helpful. Uh, Alright guys and girls, uh, please uh, click like, subscribe, comment on the video, do all the YouTube stuff. Uh, that's it for this one. I'll see you guys and girls in the next video. Bye.